What up, Stackers? Big Stack McGee here. How are you doing today? It is a bright, chilly Saturday morning where I'm at, and uh, I'm excited to open up my first uh, silver for February. Um, I've been very, very busy this past week with uh, shoveling snow where I live, and uh, there's been a lot of uh, really, really cold days and snowy days, so I hope everyone out there is keeping warm. Um, of course, you're not all from my area, but... Uh, I'm jealous of uh, of everyone that's got nice weather right now, suffice it to say. Um, at any rate, really happy to get a, uh, a new package here to open. It's been a little bit of a dry spell. Um, January, I had to hold back on some purchases because of other things that I needed to pay for, and I, I built a new computer and, and things. So um, it's really good to start kind of get back on track. Um, and uh, I'm going to go ahead and uh, just get this open, and we'll see what I picked up. Okay, first of all, um, probably recognize uh, Coin Exchange um, tube unboxings that I've done recently. I um, was grateful to get another eBay Bucks opportunity here just uh, not too long ago. And I want to just give a quick shout out to uh, the Stacking Nerd, um, who is just the fr I find out there's eBay Bucks. The first thing I did is I went and saw if, if uh, she had a, an updated video with some things that are eBay Bucks eligible and there and. She did, and I was able to take advantage of a couple of different things. This is the first one to come in. This is this actually was not on her channel, but I did pick up some stuff that she uh, she uh, told about. Um, I she had some um, discounts on there, or not discounts, but um, things you can pick up from Atmex. But I can no longer purchase from Atmex without paying sales tax, so I decided to not go that route and instead go through um, Coin Exchange, which has. Some very reasonable 90% um, tubes on there all the time. So when there's eBay Bucks promotions, that's one of my go-to's uh, now. But uh, let's see what I got this time. Franklin 90% halves. Gotta love them. And of all the silver to splash around, I think half dollars are my favorite. I mean, a big handful of dimes and quarters are always nice, but boy, do I love these half dollars. So let's just take a, a closer look at some of these here. Definitely not full details on that one. There you can at least see the crack in the Liberty Bill. I'd say these are in pretty good condition. This one appears to have been cleaned. Also cleaned, I think. Now, I honestly don't remember uh, how many half dollars I needed to complete my guardhouse box, but this is definitely going to bring me closer. Let me take a look at each one of these. This one's been cleaned, but it's also, uh, <laughs> it's not fully cleaned. That's weird. It's like, a, it's like it was uh, brushed with a jeweler's cloth or something like that, because all the, the deep gunk is still in there. Nice. 
58. Some interesting stains on there. This bizarre one definitely been cleaned. I did a series a while back on uh, cleaning 90% silver, like early on, five, six years ago, and I didn't really see the big deal with it because, especially when you're buying silver, you know, at close to spot prices and uh, you know things that are not numismatic in any way, um, as far as value goes, I didn't see a big deal with it. Um, so I actually used uh, baking soda. <clears throat> and, and just like tap water and was able to get uh, some of these I actually used a roll of 90% halves as part of my experiment because at that time the big deal I thought why people said don't clean your silver was you're going to wear some of the silver off and it's just not worth it and I proved in that video that there's absolutely zero silver loss when you do that like as in zilch um, but the aesthetic is interesting because I, I, I do love very shiny silver um, I'm, I think most people do, but when you're picking up 90%, I really don't think you want to see clean coins. I just it, when I open up a new tube, they're the ones I like the least. So it's interesting. I, um, it's just one of those things that you kind of learn along the way, or maybe it's just preference. But you know, I had people at the time saying, "Why would you ever do that?" And and by the way, I only did it to one roll. Um, and uh, but it's definitely. It's definitely true. The preference, if I'm picking up a, a tube of 90%, um, even if I'm buying it as close to spot prices, I still prefer the stuff that's not been cleaned. Now, the only exception to that would be coins and uh, that maybe have a smoke odor to them, or they're clearly got gunk on. You know, when they're like uh, normal, weird, toned coins, keep it that way. That's my opinion on that. But. roll of silver half dollars so what's next um, I do have an addition to the 90% projects that I have to do I have um, pickups from actually two months ago of dimes and quarters that I've not yet added to my guardhouse box so I think that'll be the next video that I do um, and I'll probably um, add these at the same time perhaps I don't know if I can get, fit that all into one video or not um, I do have several other pickups and again I'd like to give a nice thank you to the stacking nerd for her content and for always having great deals out there that you can pick up because you know what when you're when you're going to purchase um, uh, things for eBay bucks sometimes I love to just buckle in and just find some obscure items and whatnot and then there's other times where it's like you have no time and I just need to be able to get something and so I've out, the, the coin exchange tubes of 90% have been a staple for a long time but there's sometimes you know you're looking for something a little bit different and so I was able to pick up some gold which is great and I'm looking forward to that because it's been I think since I don't even know if I got gold in December I think November was the last gold I picked up so very very happy to be to have a, a little bit of gold on the way and uh, I think I got something else too I think I got some other 90% so but they did not all come at the same time I did not order them all at the same time because that eBay bucks window was open for a little while but so a few more um, pickups to look forward to and uh, yeah, other content coming up. Um, I want to do a series on uh, on debt. Um, I saw some interesting comments made um, on some Dave Ramsey uh, 
clips recently that I want to address, and so I'll probably try to do that this week as well. Um, I am a huge fan of Dave Ramsey. In fact, I attribute a lot of my financial success to some of his uh, methodology, but his views on gold and silver are vastly different than my own. So I'm going to address that. Uh, I'm sure it's been it's been done before. I've had other great people that I follow on uh, YouTube talk about a little bit about that, but I'm going to add my own thoughts. So, all right, that's it for right now. Thanks for watching. Hope you have a great rest of your weekend. This is Big Zach McGee. We'll talk to you real soon. Take care.